Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel, Alpha Wisdom. I am Mystic Cassandria, a palmist, a psychic, Reggae master, author, and musician. This is the third in a series of lessons in how to read palms. The lessons are easy to understand, allowing you to read palms at a rapid pace. Okay, we're getting started now. You're looking at an example of a headline. All right. The headline is located above the lifeline between the thumb and the index fingers. It can start high on the palm, close to the index finger. It can be attached to the lifeline, or it may start inside the lifeline. We will see examples of that in future lessons. Ideally, the headline should be clear, strong and long with a slight curve from the middle of the palm to where it ends. The straighter the headline, the more practical and instructive the person, the more curved the line, the more creative. The line we are looking at is very common. Many palms have a line like this, telling you how you think. So if we apply that definition here, we can see since there's more of the palm left where this line ends, perhaps this person does not have that many words to express. They make their point with fewer words. They have a lot to say, however, but they don't go on and on and on and on. So this is considered a straight headline. They all have like a slight curve to indicate where it may go. We have some that are obviously straight across, and we'll see those in just a moment. All right, let's move on. Here's an example of a short line, short headline. You notice it stops between the middle finger and the ring finger. This person is interested in not expressing so strongly, or they don't have very much to say. They may be thought of as a person of few words. Few words. What they say is meaningful, but they tend to get right to the point. They don't, there's no phrase. They don't beat around the bush. They just get to the point, and they're done. Okay? The line is clear, indicating the energy flow is fine. Seeing another example now. Here's an example of a longer line, but this line curves, and it curves toward the edge of the palm into the area that we call the luna or moon. This represents a creative person, a person that has imagination, enjoys maybe daydreaming occasionally. Creative could be creative arts. They're interested in metaphysical, anything that's metaphysical. They may actually delve into it because they're heading to an area where the in intuition lies, right at the edge of the thumb. Sorry, right at the edge of the percussive part of the hand, opposite of the thumb. The person who has a curved line similar to this sees the world subjectively. Their view of the world may change as their moods change. They have an inherent love for artistic 
and as I said, mystical. They can relate to dreams, psychoanalysis, and the arts, and they can be highly imaginative. They may also be introverts. Not all of them are, but some of them are. They may be poets or those who often work alone or work in small groups. They can be moody. And it is because they're caught up in their creativity, their thoughts on that, their intuition, and so on. So that is the curved line. Let's move on to another example. Here's an example of a straight line. All right. First off, we notice that the line is clear, but this line is long and straight. A person's creativity is tampered with practicality. These people are intelligent and have a lot to say. The straighter the headline, the more practical and instructive the person. Okay? So when they speak, one may get the impression they're instructing me. It's just how it is with a line that is straight. These are the thinkers. They deal with facts and figures, not imagination, not the dreams, or not the intuition. It doesn't say they don't have it, but that's not where their focus is. All right. We're moving on to another example, and this is another straight line. But notice that this line goes all across the palm. So it takes on another name. It's still a headline, but it's another type of headline. And that type is called the spivey. The, sorry, the Sydney, the Sydney. Okay, here is a long straight line that indicates a concentrated thinker who is logical, rational, and to the point. The people that have the Sydney line in their palms are blunt, unsympathetic, unsentimental, detached emotionally, and will follow the facts. They do not relate to obscure or illogical ideas. They do read a lot, and they think a long way into the future. These people are very focused. If they're entering a room with friends in the room, and they have a focus in mind that they want to get to, they only see the focus, so they'll head right across to their focus point. And that's how they are. So you don't feel much emotion with them. They're very serious. They read a lot. They're very intelligent. And that is the person who has that Sydney line. Okay? There's more to say about the headline, but we will leave it to the next one, our next lesson. Okay? If you like this lesson, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I encourage you to constantly look at your palms and look at other palms and see if you recognize or you can identify what type of line it is or at least re uh, become familiar with the line, no matter how it looks. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and bye.